Hi, in the previous video, we got a very brief idea about what is Splunk Federated Search and and how to how to basically uh, what it its technical architecture as well. Correct. Now, in this video, let's talk about a very brief demo about how to set up the Federated Search in a Splunk instance. Probably we will talk about with this single instance uh, environment. And in the next video, we will talk more about like how to set this up in a cluster environment as well. Okay. So for today's video, what I have done is I have just taken a single federated provider instance in Splunk. It's a full fledged Splunk instance and as well as a federated search head instance over here. It's, it's also a full fledged Splunk instance in my Google Cloud. And then we will just try to see what, how we can uh, set up this federated search over there. Okay, so let me go back to the Google Cloud. So if you see it over here, like there are two instances I have created and I have installed Splunk as well over here. So I already created video for like how to install Splunk in Google Cloud Ubuntu. You can you can follow that one. So so this is the instance I will be using it as a federated search it or feder that's why I have just given as given the name as FS instance over here. And this is the instance I will be cre uh, basically using it as a provider over here. Okay, now if we understand like how to set up in this one, so you can basically apply the same concept to set it up multiple provider as well over here. Okay, so I have just opened this provider over here. And if you see it, like I just name it this tab as provider and this tab as our local federated search search as well over here. Okay, so now if you see it, like if I just go to settings and federated search, so there are two options over here. If you see there are two tabs over here, federated providers and the federated index over here, right? So as as we have seen it before, like in our presentation, like to set up a federated search, you need a federated provider as well as in your local search head, basically in your local federated search head, you need to create a federated index as well over here, which will point to a remote data set basically, correct? So that's why the, those, those two tabs exist over there. So let us first try to add a federated provider. So if I just go to federated provider tab and try to add this federated provider, it requires a lot of information like, like the federated provider name, the host details, host and port details basically, and the service account. So we talked about the service account in our in, in the last video as well, right? So this thing we need it first, the service account, but this service account needs to be created in the provider as well over there, right? So if I just see the PPT, so the service account needs to be in the federated provider as well only, right? So that means first we will go to federated provider and create a service account. So we'll go to federated provider and it basically a simple user account. So first we need to create a role and then we need to assign that particular role to the user over there, right? That, that account over there. Now before that, let me try to discuss another thing because in the, in the, from the federated search instance, we will be pointing to a remote data set over there, right? So that means for that reason, in the provider, I have created an index. So if I, if I just show you over here. So this is the index I have created Fed, uh, provider demo index one. I just click on this new index and just created it. Now you need to remember over here. One thing is as of now, the federated search supports only the indexes based on even based index over here. It does not support matrices based index over here. Okay. And second thing is that remote data set currently it's only support indexes. It does not support any kind of safe searches or any other objects over there. Okay. Now this index, I just, if I just show you, if I just go to search and reporting app and if I just write this query index equals to provide a demo index. So I, Okay, for all time. So I have this two data, like just like name and and age. I have just given every sample data I have ingested it over here because when we will run a search from our federated 
search instance right so it should basically show me that this data from over here because these two are completely separated environment as you can see it over here right there is no connection this is not a part of any kind of cluster or something correct so these two are completely separate instance we will try to bind them together using this federated search configurations over here and try to run a search which will basically use the objects from this provider instances over here so 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 for that we need a service account so what i'll do is we will create a role okay so we will give it a name so let's say we'll give it a new role called demo role demo underscore role underscore let's say we are discussing federated search so i'll just write fs over here now it it i'm just not keeping anything inheritance over here at the index level i will just give it access to only for this particular index over here okay so that means and this is also its default index as well so that means it will it can only provide access so basically it can only access this particular index over here when we will run a search from our local federated search head over there right so we talked about this security considerations in our previous video as well like this is how you will be implementing as well like restricting the access over here so let's let's try to create this one and this this demo role fs what i'll do is we will create a new user and we'll create a new user we'll just give it a name called demo underscore demo underscore user underscore fs let's say similar kind of stuff we have to give a password over here so let's give a password here and we need to confirm this password as well okay now if you see it like it needs to assign a role so i'll just say demo role fs over here okay so so only the demo fs role it will be assigned to it and i'll just click on save it so we have the user created as well over here okay so now let's go back to our local federated search instance and try to see it so we'll give the provider name over here so we can give like any meaningful name i'll just give the name i have it over here okay provider one let's say so we'll go over here provider one now in the remote host you need to give the host name then colon then the port number over here so you can give the basically this port number our management port number over here and you can give the full host name like this host like something like splunkcloud.com or splunk.com or you can give the ip address over here as well okay because behind the scene what it will do is basically it uses a federated endpoint to access this one right so if you give 8089 as a port that should be fine over here so remote host what i'll do is here i have to give this provider instance right this instance ip address over here so i'll just copy this ip address here i will paste it over here then colon 8089 here now service account we just created it so this is demo user fs this one password let's give that password over here whatever password you have set when you created this particular instance application short name now this is very important now when you will be adding a federated provider right so you need to give an application context as well like like the app context over here so this application context make sure like let's say in your search whatever search you'll be running from this federated search head you use some kind of knowledge object like the lookups or something right so now that lookup so if you want like you want to bound your search only to use knowledge objects from a particular app so you need to give that app name over here so by default it is search like s e a r c h you need to give the short name like the folder name of that app over here right the short name so now if you have if you want to use knowledge objects from multiple apps so basically you need to create multiple 
providers over here with the same details but the app name will be different over here so that is also important over here if you want to use multiple app names now the local knowledge object this is also important so let's say i have a lookup like let's say ip address lookup okay so now that lookup present in my local federated search head as well as well as in my provider as well the same name but the content is different okay so if you if you check this one okay if you select this one that means the query will be using the local that means federated search head this our local instance lookup over there but if you uncheck it so it will basically use this provider instance over here okay so i want to use the details from the provider instance probably next video we will talk more about this these two things over here like more details in like the application context as well as local knowledge object how to how to work with them so in this video we'll just touch base it this one okay so once we have this one so we will just try to save it so that should create a federated provider in our instance over here so that's the first thing the second thing you need is a federated index here okay so so as we, as we have seen it here so in your local search you will be creating a federated in index which will be pointing to a remote data set now we already created this particular index in our federated provider there right i already shown you and we already have some dummy data over there right and i also we discussed about this currently this is this remote data set only supports the indexed data set like index object over here it does not support any kind of save search or something over here right so now we will create this federated index which will point to this guy over here so let us do that one so we'll add federated index we'll just give it a name called let's give it a name say local because this is a index we are creating into the local federated search head local fs idx1 let's let's give let's give this name over here okay so now if you see it, it you need to select the federated provider which you already created and in the remote data set if you see it currently it only have the index over here probably i think in future release plank may support other kind of objects as well over there but for now it's only supports index and the data set name we need to give the index name over here right so if i just go to settings indexes correct so this is the index we have created over there in our provider so that index name i will be giving it over here then i'll be clicking on save so this is my federated index and i think if we have done correctly now we should be able to run some search which points to this index over here okay so the simplest search could be like index equals to that index now in the in the previous video we talked about this one as well when you will be accessing the remote data set you will be accessing it through the federated index which we have defined it over here and if you see it like the syntax wise there is a federated colon has been added over here before the index name right so this is how you will be accessing it as well and if you just go to settings indexes so that index should be present over here as well okay so so let us copy this guy and if i go to search and reporting let's let's run a search call index equals to our federated colon local federated index because that is how we will be accessing it and see we are getting some errors over here which is good it is saying unknown error from the indexer okay um, yeah so we are getting couple of errors so there could be numerous reason why we are getting this error over here either one uh, one reason could be so in our google cloud instance we have these two instances over there right now until unless there is some communication channel between them that like because as i said like from when you'll be running a search over here it's basically behind the scene it's basically access an endpoint from this one right so that means there should be a communication channel between them that and that means 
in your firewall rule you should be allowing access for the port 8089 we have defined it here right in our federated instance federated provider we have given the port 8089 over here so if you have not done it i already have done it over here if i just show you um vpc network firewall rules so i already have x basically allowed access for 8089 and other ports as well over here so that should not be a problem so what is the problem the problem should be lying over here so if i just go to my federated provider and go to settings and this this user over here okay so this is the user we have set it up over here which have this particular role over here right now if i just go to this user the default app is launcher app but in our federated search configuration the application context we have set it as search probably this this could be the reason why it is not working so let me select search over here okay so the default app and save it now let us try to run this search for all time it is saying insufficient permission to access this resource i think that that service account we need to give some access over here to run some search as well so probably i'll just give a user access and let's see whether it is able to run that search or not and if you see like that that actually solves the issue so basically that service account we created it does not have access to run searches on that particular index so that's why i just have given a that user role to it then it was able to run this particular search over here okay so and if you see it like we are in our local federated search instance over here right but we are able to access the data from this index like if i just show you the index over here this this provider demo index using this federated index over here right and if you see it like this is how you will be accessing the federated index now you can use this particular query any places in your in your query right and then you'll be able to access this particular data over there and while doing this search if you are accessing any kind of lookups or something so that lookup context will be set by the by this app you are mentioning it over here and also this checkbox there is a there's a button checkbox over here right so if i just show you in the edit so there is a this one this guy over here right either you can select or unselect so this guy will govern like how those lookups will be functioning in your query as well probably that one i will park for the next video because we need to do some kind of check as well over there okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video